It's time for our county connection. This week, Laura Gallegos, the county's communications manager, joins us to talk about a major recognition the El Paso County Animal Welfare Department just received. Hi, Laura. Hi, Stephanie. That's right. We're excited to share that El Paso County's Animal Welfare Department was named the Agency of the Year by the Animal Control Report. That's a national recognition by a group of welfare officers. Out of hundreds of nominations, El Paso County was selected for going above and beyond to help animals within El Paso. The county County is also expanding the Animal Welfare Department, so we're excited for what this will bring to the community. So we're very excited that we're going to very soon have our Animal Wellness Clinic uh, be opening in Far East El Paso, east of the City of Horizon, where we will be able to offer um, a lot of free and low-cost services to residents of El Paso County. Everything Hello, from spay and neuter services to um, vaccines, um, all kinds of services uh, for the pets of the residents of El Paso County. And Laura, what kind of innovative things are the Animal Welfare Department working on as part of this expansion? Sure, the county has an innovative collaboration with veterinarians in our sister city, Juarez, where they come and work with us and in return, they get the national certifications they need to work here. We know it's a national shortage, so not only are we addressing the needs of our community here with low cost and no cost, spaying and neutering, we made a pathway for more veterinarians to come here, get nationally certified, and become a part of the United States Veterinarian Association. It's really important we highlight the work the department is doing and the plans that it has to grow in order to help the community, pet owners, and animals across the entire county. These recognitions help bring in more resources and successes for the department in the future. It's incredible. Um, I'm very proud of this team. Um, I mean, our officers do everything from their trucks. They do uh, microchipping vaccinations. They do everything they possibly can to um, reunite pets to their families. And um, this work that we do is very um, thankless, to say the least. And, you know, this just gives me um, a little bit more fuel to continue the year and to continue the work that I do. Laura, that's awesome. Is there anything else that you would like to add? Share Stephanie, just a reminder to bring in your pets in below freezing temperatures. Just because they have a nice furry coat doesn't mean they're meant to be outside in the cold weather. Of course, Laura, definitely an important note there, of course. All right, thank you. We'll see you next week, and we'll be right back after this quick break.